Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today, Wizards Unite Community Day details just dropped, and I cannot wait to go over it. Four words for you guys: spell energy on the map. Wait. Spell energy on the map. Five words for you guys. Spell energy on the map. So, uh, this is a new feature, something they have not done before. A lot to go over. Let's get into the details. So Community Day is going to be this upcoming Saturday. Uh, that'll be September 21st. And the times are as follows. Asia Pacific region. You guys are starting 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. AEST. I have no idea what that means, but you guys should know what that means. Uh, then we got Europe, Middle East, Africa, and India. That'll be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. UTC. And then we have America and Greenland and 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, that's specific standard time. Uh, so on my side of the coast, that'll be 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. for us. All right, let's get into the juicy details for this exciting event. Now, this is coming from the official Harry Potter Wizards Unite website blog section. This is where you guys can get your information as always. Here's what they have to say. For the duration of Community Day, you will receive the following bonuses. Mysterious artifacts, including rare foundables such as Romani's Time Turner, let's go, um, will appear more frequently. Now, this is, uh, if I believe if I remember correctly, this is the first time they went specifically into rare foundables. They usually just say you will see more of a certain category in the registry. They said you will see rare foundables in the terminology. So we're expecting to see those things Saturday. So um, fingers crossed that happens, especially with the tonic and the dark detector. So um, I'm hyped about that. I'm hyped about filling out that registry page. Let's continue. All extimula potions consumed will have increased effects. Now, this is a big one. If we're going to be seeing rare foundables, more of them, then we're going to need more potent uh, extimula potions to make sure our spells are cast successfully, including those dwaddle droughts if we run into uh, the emergency foundables. So again, these two features are coexisting to help us make sure the event is a success. All extimulo potions brew times will be produced by 50% cut in half, which is again, huge. Um, you want to go in and make sure you have empty slots in your potion section. So when you start brewing those extimulo potions right when the event starts for your area you want to make sure you have nothing hung over and you just start brewing those things so you can have enough of them um, it's looking like wizarding challenges is not going to be a main focus it looks like you're just going to be uh, filling in your registry for your page so this is huge this is a big deal alongside the reduced times for the extimulo potions Performing Master Notes will reduce the brew time of all extimulo potions by 50%. Yo, I might spend the last ha uh, hour just brewing a bunch of them just to have in stock for future wizarding challenges myself. Another huge feature, this is kind of feeling like it was at Wizards Unite Fan Festival. Uh, we got all in rewards will have increased spell energy. So again, like at Wolf, we saw nothing but like turkey dinners and butter beers. Like we were, we were good on energy. We're going to be casting a lot of spells. We're going to be catching a lot of foundables and grinding that XP. Make sure you guys have a bunch of peripheral brain elixirs. Like start brewing those now. Obviously a free store pack. They do this with every event. But the big one is spell energy will appear on the map. Now this is a new feature. This is something like they have not done before at all. And the closest thing we have to that is the uh, 
dragon eggs we saw at Wizards Unite Fan Festival. They would just land there on the ground, you could pick them up, and boom, you're good, you collect them, and it went towards your Oddity uh, Family XP and your um, family page count, the fragment count, I'm sorry. So, are they just going to be <laughs> lightning nodes, like lightning icons all over the map, and you just click them? Like, that's going to be, it had to be lightning. Like it has to be, it has to be. So that's going to be cool to see. That's going to be experience. I cannot wait to film that and see how that feels like just picking it up. This is going to help particularly rural players. Those who don't have points of interest, who don't have a lot of ends and greenhouses to get that increased spell energy from those ends. This is going to be huge for those type of players. So um, I'm super excited. This is again, huge new feature, something we have never seen before. But anyway, let us know in the comment section below if you guys are excited about these new features, particularly the spell energy on the map. Sound off in the comment section below. We love hearing from you guys. Also, if you are new, we want to encourage you guys, subscribe to the channel. Here you'll be getting all the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. So if this type of video is something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter. We post daily. See you guys in the next video. Until next time.